When the COVID-19 lockdown was announced across the UK in March 2020, responding to the pandemic became the primary focus of Mid and East Antrim Borough Council's community planning team. Due to the fast-changing environment this global emergency presented, it was vital that we responded to the needs of our most vulnerable citizens in a timely and focused way. The well-developed relationships and partnerships, already in place thanks to the work of Council's Community Planning Partnership, meant that we were able to immediately and efficiently deliver a number of critical projects to address food poverty and isolation on the ground. In a true illustration of community planning, and by working closely with both our statutory partners and the community and voluntary sector, we were able to help the most vulnerable people in our borough during this challenging period of the pandemic. By establishing a community hub with our key partners, Council decisively led the way in providing access to essential services for isolated and at-risk members of the community, including those who had been issued with a shielding letter from their GP. As we navigate the ongoing impacts of the coronavirus pandemic almost a year later, our community planning team remains as committed to meeting the needs of all our people in the long term and helping build greater resilience and better life chances across Mid and East Antrim. Drawing upon the collective resources and expertise of a wide range of partners, including the Department for Communities, the Public Health Agency, the Northern Health and Social Care Trust and the Mid and East Antrim Community Advice Services, our community hub was set up in April 2020 to support the most vulnerable members of the community. The initial remit of the community hub was to act as a referral and focal point from which to coordinate, record and report the volunteer community activities in Mid and East Antrim Borough Council area, and to support and sustain those voluntary community organisations in their essential work. As more and more offers of help were received from right across society, including local manufacturing and delivery businesses, sports clubs and community pharmacies, the MEA STARS initiative evolved as Council worked to celebrate the selfless contributions of others to those in need in their local area. Essential food and medicines were delivered to isolated and vulnerable people throughout our community, while a band of MEA mask makers volunteered their time and efforts to sew face coverings and other items of PPE to be used by healthcare workers and frontline caring staff facing shortages of these supplies. In addition to these vital and immediate supports, Council launched its COVID-19 Community Grant Scheme, providing £120,000 in funding to our local community groups to help them deliver for people on the ground during the early phase of the public health emergency. As we transition from response to recovery, we continue to direct our resources to addressing the new and emerging needs of our community throughout the pandemic and beyond. This is supported by a second COVID-19 recovery grant scheme, which sees Mid and East Antrim Borough Council continuing to support community activities which aim to start rebuilding communities, adapting and flexing activities and services to new ways of working, and provide the necessary assistance in the slow return to the usual community activity. During a 16-week period from April 2020, 500 food boxes were delivered on a weekly basis to the homes of medically vulnerable, low-income and socially isolated individuals across the borough of Mid and East Antrim. In total, throughout the first wave of the pandemic, almost 4,000 food parcels were delivered to homes in the Ballymena, Carrickfergus and Lauren areas. By creating a database of local essential businesses providing collection and delivery of groceries, Council was able to communicate this information to help all those in our community who were facing difficulties accessing shops and provisions. Our community hub also coordinated the collection and delivery of prescriptions in partnership with local community pharmacies, the provision of fuel and a range of befriending services to reach out to those struggling due to isolation and loneliness. As the hub developed, and in response to the urgent need of the most vulnerable in the community, Council approved several additional services, including the Mid and East Antrim Referral Telephone Helpline 
delivered through the Mid and East Antrim Community Advice Services, to supplement the Regional Advice NI helpline and in response to major concerns from elected members and the public with accessing the regional service. The COVID Community Response Grant Scheme, which enabled upfront grant payments to local constituted community groups delivering their own projects in response to need at a grassroots level. A text alert scheme organised by Mid and East Antrim Agewell Partnership and supported with £6,000 of funding from Mid and East Antrim Policing, Safety and Community Partnership. A COVID-19 information leaflet distributed with weekly bin collections to every household in the borough. The Rural Door-to-Door Scheme which was set up to inform our rural communities of the support available to them during the crisis, delivered with assistance from the Department of Agriculture and Rural Affairs, Northern Ireland Housing Executive, Northern Area Community Network, the Sports Sector, Volunteer Now and the Community and Voluntary Sector. A Food Partnership Fund proposal, which was responsible for rolling out funding of £51,764 to support local food bank infrastructure and other food poverty alleviation projects, including the Community Fridge Scheme, the Slow Cooker Programme and support for Fair Share Food Banks. Under this scheme, 32 families have benefited from a free slow cooker kit to help them prepare cost-effective, nutritious meals. In the towns of Larne and Carrickfergus, around 20,000 tonnes of food were donated to the community food banks during the first lockdown. A financial inclusion fund worth £45,456 to help address money issues, financial capability and debt, and build capacity in the community sector to deal with these issues. Struggling families across Mid and East Antrim were given the gift of Christmas after our wonderful residents donated a staggering 2.3 tonnes of toys to charities and community groups. This was made possible due to Council's successful toy container appeal, now in its second year, with toys donated through our five household recycling centres during September 2020. Council worked in partnership with the Mid and East Antrim Agewell Partnership to provide funding for pre-packed meals to be delivered for vulnerable families in the area over the Christmas period and this will be extended to the end of March. Council worked in partnership with the Inter-Ethnic Forum Mid and East Antrim on a range of initiatives to ensure the various minority ethnic groups in the borough were educated and updated on the various Covid regulations and vaccination programme. The area is very fortunate to have a dedicated poverty action group managed by the Mid and East Antrim Community Advice Services and established out of the area's community plan, putting people first. The group has worked on a range of projects including a uniform exchange programme and a warm coat project that has helped many local families. In addition, the Mid and East Antrim Loneliness Network is working together to combat loneliness and isolation in people of all ages. Our borough is rich in many resources, no more so than the vibrant community and voluntary sector who do so much for their individual estates, villages, townlands and indeed the borough as a whole. Their resilience throughout the last year has been remarkable, with many touching examples of people going above and beyond to ensure the most vulnerable in their areas are cared for and felt supported. As the response of our community planning team now moves from emergency to recovery, Council is committed to delivering upon the key objectives in the Putting People First framework for creating a strong, vibrant, safe and inclusive Mid and East Antrim. Our resources have been prioritised to address the COVID-19 emergency since March 2020 and it has become clear that the pandemic has uncovered a range of new and emerging needs among our community. Those needs will doubtless increase with the conclusion of government support such as the job retention scheme later this year and the long-lasting social, economic and environmental impacts of the pandemic. We will continue to work across our network of statutory, community and voluntary partners to provide a community planning service which delivers for our people now and in the weeks, months and years ahead.